Okay, so we have the first of the Heath kits uh, finished here, and um, we're going to give you a quick look at it, and then we'll test it out. We've um, modified the uh, inputs and outputs with the BNC connectors. Some nice new ones. I had to wait to get those, but uh, they're, they're good. Uh, we cleaned up the, the unit and then gave it a spray paint job. So, case is looking very nice. See if we can get you a little look at some of the graining or something. I don't know. Probably the photographs will do better on that, but we'll. So it's looking good. We cleaned up the uh, the power cord as well. We got right down to the crevices. Cleaned all the switches. Um, uh, lubricated them with a little bit of pot cleaner, which uh, I ran out of. But cleaner and lubricant, and uh, the switch cleaner that I start with. So those are done. And uh, then we calibrated it uh, and got it adjusted so that we have best precision on the um, uh, vernier. There we go. Couldn't think of it. Oh, metal block. Okay, i got to have a moment here to connect up and we'll run this thing again. Okay, we're connected up. We're on band A right at the moment. That would be 100 kilocycle mark, and um, we have a waveform up there. And let's uh, turn on our counter. So I've got that dial set right on 100. And we are reading 99.7. So, uh, three tenths of a hundred kilohertz uh, off. Uh, and then let's go to mid range. And I'm going to call that uh, 170 kilocycles. And we are setting at 169.2. And then we go to full scale. That should be reading 320. All right. And we've got 322.6. So when you figure the error there, they're small. You're you're very close. It's very difficult to uh, to be able to get low, mid, and high to track perfect. In fact, uh, I, I found it impossible. But I can get close. You can set the uh, the low and the high, and then check the mid range, and then you slightly adjust to hit the mid range, and let the ends fall where they do. But uh, let's go to the next band. Uh, we'll do. Right, we should be 310, and that looks to me to be 310, and we have 310.7. Let's go to mid-range, about uh, 55, all right, that would be 550 kilocycles. And then let's go to uh, 100 and it'll be 1100 kilocycles. That would be right about there. And we've got 1100.4. So very close. Let us go to band C. Take her back down. Band C should be. One again. This would be one mega cycle. Looks 
good. We are 998.7. So 999 essentially. And then let's go to mid band. Uh, should be 1.7 megacycles. Or 1700 kilocycles. So we're 1701.9, 1702. Two kilocycles out of 1700. It's not too bad. And then max. it right there and I'm getting should be getting 33.2 mega cycles that's 3200 we're getting a little bit higher we got 3233 uh, however we can if we make just a very minor adjustment and watch I'm gonna watch the counter here let's see where 32 is there's 32 right there so if you look I don't know if you can see it the difference is less than an eighth of an inch on the uh, on the vernier. So let us go to band D. We're at three point one. All right, and here we are at thirty one hundred. Those are. Output. Yeah. yeah, let's go ahead and step her up in frequency. Okay. Uh, and we uh, want to go mid band. That should be um, 5.5 mega cycles that's 5500 and we're reading 5504 so we're right there and then let's go to all right that should be um, 11 mega cycles that'd be 11,000 kilocycles and we're reading a 10,978 and if I was to make a small adjustment here and watch the counter, it's still reading 11 on there. And so, I mean, it, it moved a hair and it's 1100. So it's right on. Band E. Okay. Uh, we should be at 10. Four kilocycles. Uh, so we are six kilocycles away from t 10 megacycles. That's right on. And uh, 550. No, I'm sorry, 1700. All right, that'd be 17 um, megacycles, which is 17. 17,000 kilocycles. So we're reading 12 kilocycles high out of 17,000. Right on. And finally, uh, we want to read 30, excuse me, 10 to 32. Yeah. We want 32 on this. And uh, for 32 megacycles, we are 31.96. So, right there, a slight nudge, and we have it dead on. So, that's yeah, uh, actually exceeded it, and we're still on, we're here above 32. And the final band E, this was the toughest band, always is. Uh, 32 megacycles, this is the inner. In a ring here. Okay, uh, we're getting for 32, we're getting 30.73. So we're a little off. If I was to raise it slightly.
32. And uh, if you get a perfect 32, I'm actually reading more like 33 plus, maybe 33 and a half on here. So off a little bit on the uh, band F low end. If I go to mid mid range, let's call it. Um, this would be uh, 60 mega cycles, and I'm getting 58.8. If I raised it a little bit, it would look to me like uh, we are running 60, I don't know, 61 and a half to get 60. And then finally, the full scale at 110 mega cycles, which should be right about there. And I am getting 110.6. So uh, we're more accurate, probably on the high end. We're, we're actually pretty accurate all over. And the low end is probably on band F is the worst uh, worst point. Uh, but 32 mega cycles is also available on band E at the top end, and it was uh, right on. So hey, you're covered all the way around. Wasn't anything much I could do about it. If I adjusted the low end of the band E F, excuse me, then I ruined the uh, the mid range and high end. So I set it the best it could, and it's good. Um, the attenuator is uh, working fine. And the step attenuator. The uh, modulation. Let's uh, step this. Let's do this. All right. Turn on the modulator. You can see she's modulated. Unmodulated. Modulated. Okay. Uh, so there you go. She's in good shape. And um, cleaned off the knobs. Let's move on to the next one.